Hello, my name is Dr. Faisal Anwar. Uh, today we will see how we perform cataract surgery in routine. So this is a cataract. We are making a 3.2 mm entry port after which we are staining the anterior capsule so we can see the capsule clearly to perform capsular access. Now we are removing the dye after the staining uh, with the help of the normal saline and entering the gel into the anterior chamber before that we will dilate with some xylocan adrenaline now we will perform capsular axis in this case capsular axis is an opening that is made in the anterior capsule through which the cataract surgery is performed it's an anti-clockwise rotation of the anterior capsule that is usually done To remove the capsule now after performing this capsular axis we will perform the hydro dissection and dialing of the nucleus we just have to gradually tilt the nucleus from its or displace it from its original position now after displacing or moving the nucleus we will perform phaco emulsification procedure now this is the FACO handpiece with the FACO tip on which a sleeve is present that is covering the FACO tip. This is a small entry port for the second instrument that is dialer or chopper. We use dialer in our surgery. Now we will make a small pit in the center of the nucleus. So we can hold this nucleus and perform the first crack. Now you can see this is the crack and that is done. Now we will again hold the nucleus and perform the second crack. Now we are done with two cracks and now we will create a space by removing a small piece from the no, small piece from the uh, uh, back. Now after removing the piece from the bag, we again make another cut or another break. To create another piece to be chopped now after creating such small pieces into the capsular bag we will start removing these pieces one by one do remember never remove all the pieces before you are done with the total chopping of the nuclear material now if some big part is left in the bag it will be difficult for you to chop in the end and it will be unsafe as the capsular bag will be exposed to higher FACO dynamic pressures than in routine and you have to chop bigger piece so it can touch the posterior capsule and can make any complications. Now you can see we are done with the breaks and we will start removing the small pieces from the bag. You can see the pupil is small in this case. It's not adequately dilated and the patient constantly is having uh, tremors, head tremors. So we have to manage both the things, head tremors and the case that is surgically performed. Now we are almost done with all the pieces. This is the last piece that is to be removed from the capsule. Now again touch, hold and emulsify. This is the mechanism in the FACO emulsification. Touch, hold and emulsify. Now in this mechanism touch, hold and emulsify all the role is played by the position of the pedal and the control of the pedal that is usually done by your foot. Now after controlling this situation with the pedal, you can easily remove the nuclear material and the capsular contents. Always remember that your tip should be in the center of the pupil to achieve a maximum distribution of the fluid and thorough fluid circulation in the anterior and the posterior chamber to remove the contents safely. Now again we are done with the all pieces the next step will be in this case
you can see now the pupil is very very small in this case now we will remove the lens matter that is left now you can see there is a small piece that is present so you don't need to remove this piece with the help of FACO tip to avoid any unexpected condition so you can remove it with the gel and the Macpherson by just crushing it you can see I'm showing it now this is the Macpherson now we are crushing this part and like in the position like holding and pulling out holding and pulling out maneuver so we can remove it safely now we will remove the lens matter you can see we are removing the lens matter from the bag so it's difficult as the pupil is small this patient has multiple issues related to intraocular pressure the case is being managed for intraocular pressure by different medications including acetazolamide, topical drops and other methods. Now during surgery you can see whenever there is variation in the intraocular pressure the pupil can come back in its iron dilated position. Now after removing all the lens matter from the posterior from the bag or the from posterior to the iris we felt that the intraocular pressure has started rising so we will remove the lens matter quickly now after removing all the lens matter we will put in some gel to deepen that see now you can see the iris of the pupil is more smaller than the previous dilated portion we are using intraocular lens in this case foldable intraocular lens now in such cases we will try to put as much of the optical component into the pupillary margin so that we can guide it into the bag so little bit of dialing little bit of push pushing backwards and then placing the haptic into the bag now we will check all the portions now it's totally in the bag now we will remove the gel from the anterior and the posterior segments you can see here the floppy iris moving like waves and there is shiny cornea with the shine of the lens that is visible now we are done with the FACO emulsification now we will perform the AC lavage to remove all the gel and debris from the anterior chamber The lavage is very very important. Sometimes some fibers left in the posterior and anterior capsule takes time to come into the into the tip of the Simco cannula. So keep on hydrating the anterior chamber to achieve maximum results. Also the debris on the back of the endothelium of the cornea will be removed. Hope you like the video. Thank you very much.